Alright, for these topic limits, there are two main ways for you need to calculate. Calculate, sorry, L here. Then you will have you will see this question when limit x approaching either is a number or limit fx x approaching positive or negative infinity. And both of them has a very, very, very different way of writing down the answers. So your first question when you see this, ah, is it x approaching from x approaching number or x approaching positive negative infinity? I try to introduce it without making you dead, die. Okay, so let's begin with this one first, x approaching number. If you are lucky, the questions will be very simple, such as this. Limit x plus 3, where x approaching 3. Or I can say x approaching 5. Let's put another different number. So how do you solve? Simply sub 5 plus 3. Simply sub. I got 8. I'm happy. So that's my answer. If life were that simple, lah. But life is not that simple. I'm wondering which, which. Now, but the normal exam question will be something like this. Limit, let's take the easy one first. Not sure whether I want to change the question. Let's try it that way. What happens if we substitute? 1 plus 1, 1 minus 1, 2 over 0. Huh? Over 0, what does it mean? Infinity. Go back and try again. Yes, sir. you can't do this. So what you need to do for an x approaching number is either factorize or conjugate. I think I better write it down first. Yeah, 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 it's coming back. That's what we call, that's what we call conjuring part two. <laughs> yeah, but now it comes with a twist. I mean, I mean, like conjuring one, conjuring one, they just need to destroy the monster, right? Conjuring two, they can't just destroy what they need to do. They need to find what? The name of the balak, right? So you, you, you can't just conjugate this time. Not just conjugate. And it comes with a... The sharat, with the law. Only expand conjugate part. It comes with that rule. You cannot expand both. If you expand both, you cannot solve it. Only expand the conjugate part. But right now here, there's no conjuring. There's no, <laughs> there's no conjugate yet. I would like to say conjuring just now. So simply x plus one. Can I factorize this one? Can I factorize it? I can. X plus one. X minus one. Why do we factorize? Once we factorize and conjugate, what do you want to do? You want to simplify. 
Remember, we factorize conjugate because we want to class. Why we factorize conjugate? Because we want to. You will see a lot of your friend forget to simplify. Now you have done this. Now you're cleansing it. Limit still there. X minus one. Sorry, I missed X equal. So X approaching one now. One over. Okay, okay, all right. Sorry, wrong question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a slight, slight wrong. Slight wrong. This one negative. Uh, slight wrong, slight wrong. So we're cleansing this one. I just, just minor. Sorry about that. So one plus one. Two. I was trying to be smart and change the question. <laughs> Okay, okay, just x minus 1. Change the equation to x minus 1. Yeah. I want to see whether you, you survive or not. <laughs> it's good to know that you're still alive. <laughs> Okay, now, but life is not that simple. Life can go crazy. It can give me something like this. P minus 9, square root of P minus 3. And suddenly, P approaching 9. Can you see it? What happens if I substitute directly? 9 9 square root where we I get 3 minus 3 zero. I get 0 so what does over 0 means mass error so we cannot substitute directly so what should we do you can conjugate it which part should you which? up or down down so set P plus 3 set P Plus three. Which part should you expand? Conjugate part only. The partner is here. Okay, this is the conjugate part. Because this is the one that we copied. So what happened to down? Set P minus 3, set P plus 3 becomes what? Set P, set P. P minus plus, minus 3, 3, 9. Set P minus 9. Set P plus 3. Okay, I have conjugate. What should I do now? Can I simplify? Yes, I can. So x approaching nine, uh, p approaching nine. So now we substitute square root nine plus three, six. Are you okay? Yes. Are you happy? Still alive? Yes. Why do we factorize? If not, we got over zero. Why do we conjugate here? If not, we got we got equals to zero. Uh, over zero. If we conjugate, what should we do? Expand. Conjugate part only. Alright. I'll save the alternative method. But life is not that simple, as usual. Now, what about if you, I, this is one last example for this one. X approaching nine. 
How do you solve this question? What sh how should I start? Why conjugate? Because there's a square root. Oh, how cute. So 3 plus set x. 3 plus set x. Which one should I expand? Why this one? Why only the dino? Because this is a conjugate one. Right? Sometimes the conjugate can be up as well. So we got ourselves 9 minus x and x squared minus 81 3 plus x I've conjugate should I, should I substitute now? No. Why not? If you put down here 9 minus 9 zero. still got over 0 we cannot divide by 0 so life is not that simple in this current case. You can factorize that one. That's the easy way. There is another way you can factorize this one as well. In fact, for this one, you can factorize this one as well, but I'm not showing it now. <laughs> We're running out of time. Okay, what should I do now? I factorize. I've, I've conjugate here. I factorize here. Should I substitute now? Why not? I agree to potong. Mana boleh potong? Potong steam. This is x minus 9. This is 9 minus x. Nine minus x. Can I? Fit? What's the difference of x minus nine and nine minus x? Negative. Negative difference. So I can say that this one here it doesn't matter. I can take this one here. I can take the negative. I got this one. Yes. So x plus nine. X minus nine. Three plus set x. So now you substitute x approaching 9, sorry, 18, 3 plus x, sorry, 9, uh, 3, 3, 6, 18, 18 times 6, 84. Okay, since I, I facilitated it just now. Yes? 108. 108. 6. Oh, sorry. My goodness. I'm trying to go fast here. I'm making mistakes in the internet. That sounds embarrassing. Okay, thank you. When to conjugate, when to factorize? When you go over zero, okay? That's the easy one. If you conjugate, which one should you expand? Conjugate part only. Uh, I'm just showing you the alternative. Just now I said you can do something. Trying to the truth is you can conjugate this one as well and you get yourself set P minus 3 set X plus 
third P plus 3. And you can simplify them. So you get the same answer as well. It's similar to what we did just now. Which one is a better way? Which one you see first in exams? I'll say that. Both of them give you the same answers and same marks. Okay, thank you.